and welcome to We the People. I'm Gargi Rawat and our focus today is on the safety of women and to understand why nothing much seems to have changed since the horrific Nirbhaya gang rape in 2012 till today. Today we've had another barbaric case from Telangana which tragically for all of us is being called Telangana's Nirbhaya. Four men raped a 26-year-old woman, a veterinary doctor, before strangling and setting her on fire near Hyderabad. This took place on Wednesday night. It's now emerged that they had actually planned this gruesome assault when they saw her park her scooter near the toll booth where they were stationed. They first offered to help her. They punctured her tire and then they offered to help her when she came back. Then they dragged her away from the road, raped and strangled her, finally burning her body under a culvert. The four men have been arrested, but then protests erupted yesterday around the police station where the accused were kept. Now, this entire case has left the country shocked and seething, but also feeling frustrated and helpless, wondering why hasn't anything changed since 2012, the Nirbhaya gang rape in Delhi. In fact, the day of the Telangana rape case, there were four rape cases, all in four different states. To talk more about this, let me introduce our panel. We have Rekha Sharma, chairperson of the National Commission for Women. Joining us, Jasmine Shah, national spokesperson of the Aam Admi Party. Karuna Nandi, Supreme Court lawyer and someone who's worked on women's rights. Rahul Mehra, an advocate and someone who is representing the Delhi police and the Delhi government in the High Court in the Nirbhaya Fund case. Also, Dipali Bhardwaj, an RSS follower and supporter of the government. Sanjay Rajora, a stand-up comedian with Aisi Taisi Democracy and a social satirist. Also joining us from Lucknow, we'll have Vikram Singh, former DGP of Uttar Pradesh. And we'll also hopefully be joined soon by Chinmay Shripada, singer and a vocal women's rights activist. But before going to all our guests, I'd first like to start with this young lady here, Anu Dube. Now, she's somebody who actually protested yesterday outside of parliament she was standing all by herself holding up a placard saying why can't i feel safe in my own country so let's uh, speak to anu to understand what drove her uh, to this one woman protest anu tell us what led you to protest uh, actually uh, the uh, case uh, that we all know uh, about hyderabad that was not the uh, first case i can say I have a sister, few years back, what happened? Uh, she was coming in evening, she was coming from a coaching class. And uh, she, uh, th 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 there is a place which is bit quite secluded. So she called me that please be on the call cause this place is so secluded and I'm not feeling safe, I'm a bit scared. So I just said, okay, you no need to worry, it's completely fine. And then suddenly what happened? four guys followed her on the bicycle okay so she tried to run out she tried and yes she hmm. she, she she get hidden in a dustbin no and then uh, she actually hid in a dustbin too yes yes waiting for these men to pass mm, yes waiting for this man to pass and after one hour she came to home and she was crying as hell and then she told me that four guys were following me that, you know that thing we, we were and then when you heard this Hyderabad case we, we, we were crying that day but it just ended over there only okay so yesterday yesterday not yesterday day before yesterday uh, I came uh, home at uh, maybe around uh, eight o'clock okay and then I had a fight with my brother that why you always come late and we always usually fight no he was he, questioning you yes that why you always come late so i just told him that i want to do something please don't ask question for me so you know what happened he just put a uh, uh, he just put the status on his instagram and then he said this is what i don't want that I don't to want this thing. You, so yes, this I don't want this thing to happen to you. All right. Well, your brother is here with us, so we will speak to him later. But I think that's uh, you know the state of many uh, young women. And uh, for uh, Anu, it of course came home the point that it could have been your sister as well, given the the way the Hyderabad case. And uh, there also the young woman spoke to her sister, and you know she thought she was safe, and she spoke to her sister about uh, how there's some men there, and she was feeling frightened. Uh, but I'd like to go across to Rekha Sharma, uh, chairperson of the National Commission for Women, ma'am. 
to answer girls like Anu, women like Anu, who are holding up placards saying, why can't we feel safe in our own country? Uh, what would you say? What is your answer? What can we do? Because it really seems, even though we know the laws have changed, but it really seems nothing has changed on the ground since 2012, the Nirbhaya case in Delhi. See, yes, uh, I think in fact uh, it has been deteriorating uh, since then and many cases are happening. You are listening, you are everyday reading and seeing things are happening to women. And uh, what you are asking is, though we have laws at place, we have many schemes for women. But unless we change the mindset of people towards women, we can't do anything about it and on changing the mindset of women i think we are not doing much about it whereas uh, people sitting at responsible places also make comments like uh, the minister other day made uh, the home minister of telangana uh, how will others change when uh, even when our leaders will that make the, such that comments the young doctor should have called a hun dialed 100 instead of dialing her sister Yes, yes. So, uh, see, she, he wasn't bothered that the police uh, didn't even bother when the parents went to complain and they wasted two and a half hours, uh, which were crucial hours to save that girl. And he was talking about dialing 100. And uh, the mindset of people is that we can take advantage of women if she is alone. And our women are not even safe on in our in her own place in her own home how is she how will she uh, feel so safe what do outside you think can be home? done because so, we've changed the laws is it the implementation and we talk about fast tracking these cases is it bringing you know cultural change is required education needs to be changed in which we bring more gender sensitivity what do you think can be urgently done to bring about some change yes it's so you are right we have to change in education systems uh, from the very childhood we have to gender uh, sensitize our children we have to behave at home uh, like a responsible person and and uh, respect our women at home when a child sees that her uh, his uh, father is misbehaving with the mother when a child sees that her own uh, father is misbehaving with the daughter or sister he will do the same thing outside the home. So we need to change that culture of beating women, uh, culture of mistreating our own women at home. Uh, it sta all start from home and the society is made of all of us. So if we change uh, this, uh, the uh, mindset of our own uh, men at home, I think the society will change. And the gender sensitization uh, in the schools, that is very, very important. Uh, we are talking about nowadays you have seen the uh, children of uh, 16, 17, 18 year old boys are doing all these crimes. Uh, outside home. So right. it should start very early in the schools. So education, our homes need to change. Uh, Karuna, uh, you know, this is an issue we've been talking about since 2012. We've seen the law change. That was the big demand. We saw people coming out on the streets. We saw people coming out on the streets yesterday as well in Hyderabad outside that police station throwing, you know, slippers and rocks at the police. I mean, that's not what we want. But the anger among people and, you know, an anger also that seven years have passed. And what has changed besides the law? feeling like this young woman had that women's bodily integrity is not to be compromised. The feeling that the, when an act attack happens, it is not my shame or your shame or your sister's shame. That the shame belongs to the rapist. And the feeling that we are entitled to work and to live our lives and go for walks and have fun. But what has not happened? What has not happened is that when there is such an attack, then our families don't consider the issue from the point of view of our freedoms and our consent, which is something fundamentally important. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have a perspective. I think that you do have an important perspective. You want your sister to be safe. But every time such an attack happens, and every time the governments, whether it's the state government that controls uh, the police, not of course in Delhi, because that's a mixed jurisdiction. Right. But in, um, um, in most other states. And every time the central government pays lip service 
to women's rights and fails to act to change people's behavior. Behavior change, we have lots and lots of data, lots and lots of studies to see, to, um, to that to show. The government need to work more with NGOs, with police, and you know, bring about, and, and of course, education and inculcate this sort of respect for women and you know, abhorring this sort of violence. Respect for consent, one, and two, inculcate a fear of the law and make sure that the law is something that works, right? Because, Gargi, the problem is this is that every time there's an attack, a young woman like her or, you know, most people watching, to some extent loses a little bit of her freedom, loses a little bit of her ability to work, you know? The and, laws and, and we can't even blame the families. I can't even blame the young man because, you know, he's just concerned about his sister. He can't, in, you know, better the policing in the city. He can't I blame uh, make the sure people's but I mindsets also change. Think that collectively, his mothers, fathers, to families need to understand that we need to support women's freedom, we need to support consent. We do not need to protect and make safe at the cost of other freedoms. All right, well, let's go across to uh, Vikram uh, Singh, a for former DGP of uh, UP who joins us. And sir, uh, what, what in your view can happen in terms of the police? You know, we keep talking about police reforms, we keep talking about uh, how there's a shortage of police and, you know, we'll go across to Rahul in a bit to talk more about, you know, uh, filling in those positions and having better policing, gender sensitization, but what do you think can be done? Gargi, we can go on giving our wish list till all times to come, but there's a short-term plan and there's a long-term plan. Whatever you mentioned is a part of the long-term perspective that will happen, but there's things that we can do now, today, and itself. I would ask four questions that after the Nirvaya case, 13th Criminal Law Amendment came about and it amended the Evidence Act, the Criminal Procedure Code, and the Indian Penal Code. The Indian Penal Code has a specific section 166A subsection E only to deal with delinquent police officials who in these cases were the fittest cases where case should have been registered and has a punishment of six months to two years. Has that been case registered in this uh, Hyderabad case and in other cases? I would say only 10% of such delinquent police officers get addressed by this section of IPC. Now, immediate dismissal should have followed. And whenever such cases are put on in a yes. court of law, we had higher conviction rates five years ago than what we have now. Has in any acquittal, any acquittal report been made? Have we put our best foot forward? Every acquittal in such sensitive cases need to be filed and seen in the acquittal report. Was it a bad investigation, worse prosecution or both? Then anybody who is responsible for an acquittal needs to be taken to task, whether the investigator in the police or elsewhere. Then we have such wonderful pearls of wisdom from the Honorable Minister of Telangana who says that the child should have dialed 112. I would like what presence of mind and what reflexes you would have under these tormenting circumstances. Then we have others from Uttar Pradesh who say, Bacche hai, bachon se galti ho jati hai. We should have zero right. tolerance. But in an ecosystem very, of very sad, very sad. what have you, of cult of masculinity and cult of masculinity in the system, and also that the police take the atrocities against women at a lower scale than the topmost priority or zero tolerance, that is not happening. I would say police reforms will happen, but whatever wherewithal that you have in a scale of 1 to 10, you still have 7 out of 10. A jolly well deliver. These laws were amended. Nirbhaya case stands unutilized to the scale of 92%. Reforms will come. But at least the basic Thana records that have, we have been registered, Badmashan, activist, you are supposed to be proactive to identify the roadside Romeos who are loitering aimlessly. And you should have it in you, the sixth yes. sense to identify who the hoodlums are, account for them. The basic, robust, traditional policing is what is required. And give the fear of God. Gargiji, they had a saying, if the, if the police know what the job is, the tsunami came, ki sare ashik ishq bhool gaye. This is what policing is all about. It should be a part of the DN of every policeman to get after the jeweler of every roadside Romeo right up to a potential rapist. But I to don't think this, that robust this daily policing, harassment that women go through, even uh, just going to office, going to school. Vigil is that is totally lacking. All right, so well, uh, Rahul, you tell us about the Nirbhaya Fund uh, because Gargi, a lot has been uh, said about how uh, Gargi, you know the is fund the is lying uh, unused a lot of it. So uh, you know, uh, tell us what's what's happening. Then yes, about the Telangana case, we do know that three of three policemen have got suspended because uh, the parents of the girl actually went there, the woman but, went but there, Gargi and they didn't listen to them, and they actually went to two different stations and then went out looking themselves. Uh, just a moment, I think. Uh, yes, ma'am, do you want to say something, Rekha Sharma? Yeah, yeah. 
या या गार्गी सस्पेंशन इज नॉट द आंसर दे शुड हैव बीन रिमूव फ्रॉम द सर्विसेज एवरी टाइम दे गो ऑन सस्पेंशन इट इज लाइक पेड हॉलीडेज फॉर देम बिकॉज इट इज Right, yeah. ma'am. Just so, a moment. So, uh, uh, you know, actually, the solution lies in almost everything that you have discussed so far. Each one of them together is a collective solution for this uh, menacing problem. Now, Nirbhaya Fund, when you come to it's in 2013, the fund was started by the Union government, hmm. and the Union government actually uh, invested about thousand crores. Thirty-two hundred crore is lying. Initially, thousand crores in 2013, 2014, another thousand crores, and then the fund, for some reason, which the Union government needs to answer. dropped to 550 crores in the subsequent year and then the following year again 550 crores so first of all the emphasis has gone down rather than you know increasing the fund this is a colossal problem across across india uh, it's not only limited to northern india uh, you know the problem lies with us men uh, we have not been brought up well i don't know what is the problem but we have not been brought up well that's the basic problem Uh, absolutely i and, think and, all of you would and, and i as a man agree, feel yes. ashamed when every such incident Sorry. happens and i think there are many such kind of men uh, you know across right. india who who really feel ashamed about the incidents which keep on happening day in and day out the statistics are that in delhi alone every 3 to 4 hours there is a rape now that's uh, and and and, and, and a lot of them are minor one every 15 minutes in the country a lot of them come under the poxo act uh, so uh, the fund is 3300 crores as of 2016 17 Out of which there was allocation of those resources to about twenty-two hundred crores, two uh, thousand crores. So it was about thousand to thirteen hundred crores, which was lying unutilized in sixteen seventeen. Even the ones which were actually allocated to various projects by the committee, only six hundred and fifty-two crores was actually utilized. And these projects were what? So, uh, so I so, believe I read somewhere some of these projects didn't even take off. That's so there was right. nowhere to spend the money. So the problem is now. Uh, let's take an example. In Delhi, uh, the state government is wanting to put in CCTV, right? Why can't the Nirbhaya Fund, which is running unutilized, be used for installing those CCTVs? It hardly costs you some somewhere around four to five hundred crores, and the entire city, every nook and corner of the city, public places, obviously, right to privacy needs to be maintained. But sure, yeah. you know that needs to be captured and that needs to be highlighted. So that and we need a law on that. That's a that's a separate thing. But all I'm saying is, if if there's a fear of God in every man, whether law-abiding or otherwise. walking on those streets that i can be captured somewhere and you should have actually you should mix these cctvs with dummy cctvs and, and, because and nobody we... should be able to know put half the cctvs as dummy ones just to instill fear well, in then people. i would wouldn't trust the government to like actually you know put too many fake ones and then no you know. all i'm saying is obviously every nook and corner every street sure. everything now let's take an example of street lighting there are these dark spots and you know in 2016 i had placed through the delhi police before the court on an affidavit 450 uh, dark spots in delhi what have we right, done about that in fact that? ndtv did Where a whole campaign lights? on this issue what is what is going on why is lighting up delhi and uh, yes caution delhi yes that's they right did a whole campaign on and this and then you know there are certain issues regarding now delhi police was supposed to do it why is it that we haven't been able to get it done there is the the, the bane of delhi is also the coordination between various agencies agencies don't work together so that's another aspect now apart from this there is an issue of uh, uh, you know educating your 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 own children uh, as somebody in the uh, you know just before me said that it's it starts from the family surely it starts from the family because statistics also say, uh, say so statistics actually confirm that 9 out of 10 rapes happen within the circle of influence of yours or within the known people so it's yeah. happening indoors more than it's happening outdoors surely these are cases the gang rapes and others which really you know it it shakes the society you know, which is important all right well i'd like to bring dipali in here posing us on marital rape you know i know rahul that right, is not personal you know that's going to be a whole other debate but 90% percent of rapes happen well, as he quite rightly said all right i know that but, but, but right, the whole, well i'd like to get dipali in here dipali you're somebody who actually went and protested during the nirbhaya rape and you know when when we saw those protests breaking out in central delhi against the upa government and against that time it shila dikshit was our uh, chief minister but and now again we have this situation it's not like rape stopped it's just i think the telangana rape has again struck a chord with many of us about mm -hmm. you know this young woman working just parked her scooty went to uh, you know visit a dermatologist mm -hmm. in okay. fact and then mm -hmm. came back and to have these men actually plan the whole thing by puncturing her tire wait uh, you know lying in wait 
offering to actually help her. And then she's calling up her sister, the way Anu's sister called her up, imagining that that somehow would make you safe. But yes, this, but this has to cut across political lines. We need exactly. to hold yeah. all our political parties and, you know, to account on issues like this. Um, see, you know, definitely it's a very, very sad time and I'm so glad Mr. Rahul Mehra, the note he started on and as a man he said this on your television, but uh, I feel a lot has to be done. I mean, definitely from the 2012 some work has happened, but until the time these criminals, these sadists are not given any punishment till the time law and order really doesn't become fast track, which is on an international level till within one month, some kind of a punishment which is directly proportional to the crime doesn't happen. It's just going to go on. I, I just heard that he said that, you know, one in one rape in three hours or four hours. I believe there is much more, much yeah. more in which fact, is not reported. In fact, the reporting has gone up after the Nirbhaya yes. case because of yes. the, the kind of widespread because public no outrage and no the sympathy bhai. to, yes. you know, the poor young woman and, and you know, so more women felt empowered to come out and talk about it. Definitely. And there is no bhai, there is no fear. People are not feared from this crime. They are just going to do the rape and then they can get a special, uh, I mean, 2012 was Nirbhaya. So many movies world over have been made on that rape. I mean, is that what we want for the Hyderabad, Telangana rape also? Till the time we do not take action, I think uh, in front of me in the audience, there are so many people, but I think only 20% is ladies. Are we scared to get out in Delhi? And I think we are yes, to we an are. extent. Yes. yes. We are. All right. Well, uh, Gargi, not just have, de yes. You know, you know the uh, issue out here is also about how much of the uh, uh, policing is actually because the DGP earlier said, you know, it's about suspension. Now suspension. You know, you send police officers to uh, to, it's to a the lines. On the knuckle, no, yes. You send them to the lines. Then you say, okay, after six months, when everything is calmed down, you come back into service, into active service. That's one of the issues. Accountability in police. Police reforms. Where are they? Why can't the Honorable Supreme Court put every single government in the dock tomorrow? tomorrow and say either you stay in power or you, we are going to ensure that you know things happen your your Gargi. topmost officer in the government is going to be sent behind bars you know set the okay. rules it's your judgment right. please implement it all right so Get jasmine it tell us about you know we know the Aadmi party has taken up the issue of uh, women's safety so tell us what has the government done in in these last uh, five years no so first of all i must say that a lot of valid points have been raised so far and this is such a shocking is issue and like rahul i think it's it's time for all of us to just uh, uh, you know, lower our head in shame because these kinds of incidents just cannot keep happening with the alarming regularity with which they are happening. Uh, in the case, and, and I think therefore what we all need to do is just relentlessly demand of our governments to do more. There's just so much to be done. Like uh, the former DGP said, in the short term as well as uh, long term, where the deeper police reforms have still not happened, even though in 2006, Supreme Court mandated these reforms. Not a single state government has passed all these reforms. And that is as black and white as it can get where political will is concerned. What has the Aam Aadmi Party done? I think everybody knows by now that law and order and the Delhi police doesn't come under us. It comes yes, under that. the center. However, as, since administrative machinery is in our hand, Delhi government has made three, four large uh, initiatives which make Delhi stand out today. We have installed more than one lakh because CCTVs. Because we have the shameful tag of, you know, rape capital of the world and all these. No, sort absolutely, of it's shocking, and, and it is something that we all feel uh, ashamed about. So Delhi uh, government and the AAP government has installed one lakh CCTVs today on the streets of Delhi. Two more lakh are being installed in the next six months. Delhi okay. will have the largest number of CCTVs in the country after that. We are in the process of installing one and a half lakh uh, uh, street lights. Rahul mentioned about dark spots. An independent NGO safety pin, they did a survey two years back, 2016. Uh, three years back that Delhi had right. 7,500 dark spots. Today they have 2,000 dark spots, the same report says. We also have bus marshals now in all of our public buses. No city in the country have made these kinds of investments. And just a few days back we had heard reports that a girl, a young child was being abducted and was caught because we had that bus marshal. Uh, last month there was a report that a two and a half year girl was abducted uh, by kidnappers and was found because of the CCTV footage. These are such commonsensical reforms. Why can't all our cities and all our governments do this? This should all have right. happened within a year of Nirbhaya. What are we sitting and waiting? And I, I agree, I think this is time for the Supreme Court to step in and really take charge or dismiss the government. Well, it's always the Supreme Court we turn to, but uh, Sanjay, what are your thoughts on this? You know, because it, there are various governments in various states and, you, you know, these rapes are happening across the country. There was one in Jharkhand, there was one in Kolkata, UP, then there was another one in UP, and all this has happened in the last few days since the Telangana case. Look, <coughs> जो ये ये जो घटना ये तेलंगाना में हुई ये एक्चुअली इट्स अ कल्मिनेशन ऑफ अ कल्चर 
हमारे यहाँ रेप कल्चर है और सेलिब्रेट किया जाता है जिसके लिए सबसे ज्यादा जिम्मेदार पॉपुलर कल्चर है हमारे यहाँ इसकी सेलिब्रेट हाँ जी वाई वुड यू से सेलिब्रेट आप देखें ना अगर एक दबंग फिल्म है जैसे कि मैं एग्जाम्पल दे रहा हूँ जिसमें एक तो कस्टडियल टॉर्चर को जस्टिफाई करके ग्लोरीफाई करते हैं उसके बाद वहाँ पे वो करीना कपूर जी गा रही हैं कि मैं तो तंदूरी मुर्गी हूँ यार गटकाल ले मुझे अल्कोहल से ठीक है स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जुम्मा चुम्मा दे दे विच वॉज एक्चुअली अ गैंग रेप सॉन्ग ये हमारा मेन स्ट्रीम कल्चर है और जब ये दुखद घटना हो जाती तो बेसिकली उसी कल्चर का एक कल्बिनेशन हो रहा होता है वहाँ पे क्योंकि इतने सालों से ये नॉर्मलाइज कर लिया गया ठीक है रोमांस इज सीन एज हरासिंग द गर्ल हाँ तो रोमांस को ऐसे माना जाता है कि इसकी नाम है तेरा पीछा नाम है छोड़ूंगा सोनिए भेज दे चाहे जेल में ये हिट गाने हैं हमारे ठीक है और ये स्टॉकिंग है और ये सब चीज़ें हमारे हमने नॉर्मलाइज कर ली हैं ठीक है और उसके बाद क्या है कि दूसरी चीज़ ये गवर्नमेंट के एफर्ट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ अस एग्री दैट दिस इज नॉट इवन अ प्रायोरिटी फॉर द गवर्नमेंट कितना मुश्किल कितना मुश्किल है कुलदीप सेंगर को डिसमिस करना और उसके खिलाफ इमीडिएटली एक्शन लेना इतना वक्त क्यों लगता है कितना मुश्किल है कठुआ के ऊपर एक्शन लेना या किसी किसी के भी ऊपर जब भी पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स इन्वॉल्व हैं क्यों नहीं जो उनके टॉप लीडर्स हैं उनको तुरंत उनसे उनको डिसमिस कर देते हैं अपनी जगह से क्यों हम उनके जस्टिफिकेशन देते रहते हैं नहीं ऐसा नहीं हुआ वो झूठ बोल रही है एक, ये ये क्या तरीका है तो अब दूसरी बात ये होती है कि घर में हम अपने बच्चों को क्या कैसे सिखाए कौन सिखाएगा क्योंकि जो माँ बाप है वो खुद पेट रिया कल है बच्चे स्कूल में जाते हैं वहाँ टीचर पेट रिया कल है कॉलेज में जाते हैं वहाँ पे कॉलेज जो प्रोफेसर पेट रिया कल है उसके बाद शादियाँ होती हैं नौकरी होती हैं वहाँ फ्री माहौल है पूरा का पूरा तो कौन कौन अपने बच्चों को ये सिखाएगा कोई अपने बच्चों को कोई अपने बच्चों जेंडर सेंसिटाइज करे तो कैसे करे सारा दिन टेलीविजन और केबल टी पे ये गंदाती रहती है मैं सेंसरशिप के पक्ष में नहीं हूँ लेकिन ये भी तो ना होना कि कोई आप उनको ऐसे दिखाएंगे लड़कियों को कि भाई ये तो दारू पी के और खाने की चीज है तो ये सब चेंज ये एक गवर्नमेंट का तो आप छोड़ दो जी मेरे को तो कोई आशा नहीं है गवर्नमेंट से उनकी प्रायोरिटी आपको पता है आज आजकल की गवर्नमेंट आज की गवर्नमेंट की प्रायोरिटी क्या है गंगा में दूध डाल रहे हैं कोई मंदिर बना रहा है कोई कह रहा है कि जो है कि वहाँ हम हरियाणा में मंदिर बनाएंगे अब एक और ने भारत माता का मंदिर जब करोड़ों करोड़ों रुपए इन पे खर्च हो रहे हैं तो सर आप क्या सीसीटीवी कैमरे लगवाने की बात इन गवर्नमेंट से एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हो इनका तो प्रायोरिटी नहीं है ये पार्लियामेंट में खड़े होकर बोलते हैं कि जो अभी इन्होंने बोला था डी साहब ने कि लड़के हैं गल, गलती हो जाती है ये तो खड़े होकर बोलते हैं पार्लियामेंट में ये भी बोला गया कि ऐसे अगर हर चीज़ को बंद कर देंगे तो फिर तो कोई and we love talking about ram and ram rajya and you know building ram statues so we should also have that if we, if we talk about it then some sort of uh, mas- masla sara uh, yahi hai na ki government ke paas government ki priority nahi hai aur hamare gharon mein ab ye ye jo kaand hua hai iske baad se ladkiyon ko bolna shuru kar denge ghar se mat niklo sorry but you already one thing did change after 2012 is that here i think i've agreed with almost everything that sanjay has said except for one thing that it became a political issue it became yeah. clear that governments need to respond to this no but that now, was moment now if i may just finish Karuna, now ahead. the thing is that in 2014 when this prime minister right. campaigned hmm. what was one of the many slogans based Beedi on women's rights yeah beti bachao bahut hua nari parwar yeah ab ki baar modi right. sarkar hmm. uske baad kya hua you have your nirbhaya fund sitting there nothing else was done so the, the point is part. that there's also you know i was in court recently actually looking at a um, rape case i was arguing a rape case right and obviously i'm not going to take names and obviously this is only an example of the uh, mindset of part of also our judges that we are all looking to work and many judges in the system are working to change i myself have done trainings in the national judicial academy and workshops but what did this otherwise brilliant and progressive judge say that these laws are all in favor of women really yes and there was a 12 year so old what sanjay is pointing out this like patriarchy all around it's so like which, in is our homes, in our which is why which is why actually and atishi and i i was telling them before atishi and i many years ago and it's not it's not this government's fault i mean i will i do think that there are some things that there are this government's fault but that it didn't get done however one of the things we were talking about is taking one district in delhi and doing a targeted behavior change campaign right looking at taking the schools the colleges etc also the doctors also the doctors also the lawyers also looking just everyone look doing public uh, and then figuring out ads, what works what? And, and figuring out what works and what doesn't work and, and i will not let, let i will not leave 
the government here because okay. it is the government that must guarantee our freedom, not just our freedom from Pakistan once in a while. <laughs> You know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to go across to Chinmayi. Uh, Shripad, uh, she joins us, uh, and also Rahul Ishwar. Both of them have been uh, waiting uh, to, uh, you know, uh, come in on this entire issue and this discussion. And uh, Chinmayi is somebody who's, you know, raised this issue about women. You've been very active uh, on, on online. You've, you know, helped a lot of women. It, you were a big part of the whole Me Too movement. And now this. Again, an, another case, it's been called Telangana's Nirbhaya. It's so tragic for us that we should, you know, use that label. But what do you feel needs to be done? And uh, you had shared an account some, uh, of what some young girls, uh, you know, had written to you about how her parents are telling her, you come home by 8 o'clock, we don't care. Uh, it's actually not 8 o'clock. People want girls back home all the time. Uh, a lot of them actually are complaining that their parents are asking them to change their night shifts. It's not as if homes are safe for these girls. These are uh, girls who so many of them have actually shared their stories uh, the past two, three days saying that I have been molested slash raped by my own father, my uncle, my sister's husband, my grandfather, and I don't have anywhere to go. It's not as if my home is really safe. And we have so many of these people telling us these stories, not knowing where to go. And, you know, the only little bit of social leverage that they have through some sort of a job um, or, um, you know, uh, uh, education, the first thing that uh, parents and their families want to cut off. Uh, and uh, girls in, uh, in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, for them to fight for uh, higher education and for them to fight to get the right to work is very, very difficult. The other thing here is that the, the, the concept of dowry is extremely, uh, people talk about it with pride. And the other thing that I noticed in the couple of um, uh, the, the couple of days is this very interesting, uh, but also shameful caste angle that is brought in, saying that this girl belongs to this caste, so girls of this caste deserve to be raped. So these are kind of uh, yes. In fact, know, on Facebook, I think a lot of men have come out and justified and said, "Why was she out at this time of the night?" And people have actually yes. gone to the police with those Facebook profiles Correct. and accounts and actually complained but, to several police but stations. But to have women right now in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana going on Facebook and social media and justifying that if uh, women get raped, then both women and men are to be blamed. I have seen uh, uh, just in front of, in, in my own circle, I have seen a mother correct her daughter and not uh, correct her son saying, I can only tell daughters, I don't know what to tell sons. So I told the girl, why don't you go and have a word with your father? And she says, I can't even raise a word with my father if you see the kind of misogyny and uh, the amount of memes that come out on facebook and instagram and on twitter um, which are about fantasizing gang rape and inserting rods in girls uh, sisters mothers aunts neighborhoods uh, aunts and also fantasizing actresses saying if she's an actress then she must be uh, a sex uh, symbol and then she is uh, into the flesh trade and she deserves it and whatever the heroes do, they are all heroes. Actors are not actors, but they are heroes. But heroines are ones who are, whose bodies, or if they wear certain clothes, then they deserve to be made memes with with uh, on fantasizing rape. And I have been calling this out for a very long while. And they say that uh, you know I'm a pseudo feminist, and and this is also. Uh, I'd like to place on record, this is also a popular culture which justifies that women need to be controlled with violence. Um, okay, I think that's what Sanjay was also talking about, this culture that we have that kind of celebrates this violence against women. Uh, Rahul Ishwar, you were very disturbed on social media because of the communal sort of spin this entire issue took with a lot of people, you know, calling out the fact that one of the rapists was Muslim, ignoring the fact that the other few are Hindu. It, religion doesn't even come into this. You know, it, these men are uh, rapists and they deserve the highest punishment. So why bring this religion angle? And that's something you expressed anguish over. Absolutely. See, I'm a Hindu right winger. I vote for Narendra Modi. Ji. But rape is rape. Rape is beyond religion. At least a rapist should not be seen with any prism of that. And I believe, I, you know, we all Indians, whether we belong to right or left, agree with the outrage that is expressed in the program. We definitely need to have a change of mindset. We definitely need to reach out. The uh, martial art education or the self-defense education of girls should be in school. There should be value education with boys. We should definitely start with boys. I don't think anybody will disagree with that. And we need to have concrete actions. And those actions, like CCTVs or so many other things, should be there. And our social media or our general culture can definitely contribute to it. And it is a time, whether we belong to any political leanings, any community for that matter, rape is killing a woman's soul. I think we all will agree to it. And we should come together to resist it and decrease the 
uh, and absolutely analyze if possible decrease the numbers over the years and this is what we should do i think you know i believe every right thing to keep our girls degree. home it should actually be keep the boys home and not like you know let them out on the streets and let them because I mean, they are the perpetrators that's, 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 that, um, that's also not practical let me just point out one thing see i'm a proud conservative i belong to the conservative spectrum see and my humble request only will be this see you cannot totally blame patriarchy for rape rape is perversion yes there is an issue with patriarchy our culture has been like that but let us not use these kind of occasions to take pot shots on patriarchy which is a different problem than rape come on rahul surely <laughs> surely you you can i mean it all stems from patriarchy i think chinmay wants to come in here yes go ahead Yes, I have a very very important point. I mean this concept of patriarchy is also the root cause of uh, gender based violence and violence against women and this toxic masculinity slash patriarchy hurts men also not just women. The other thing I wanted to speak to you Mr. Rahul Ishwar because you have voted for the BJP. I'd like to place on record that uh, Mr. Radha Ravi who is very very infamous in Tamil Nadu uh, for slut shaming women at every audio launch at every event and he very very famous mostly banned me from working in the tamil nadu film industry just because i uh, named mr vairamuthu padma bhushan awardi sangeet natak academy awardi national award winning lyricist as my molester he was also named by seven other uh, girls uh, as uh, their molester but the fact is radha ravi has now been incul inculcated into the bjp in tamil nadu now what do you have to say about that how is it that not one person from the bjp has condemned that i have I mean, a very specific question uh, uh, I I don't I don't represent BJP though I vote for Modi ji but this is not a political topic and the humble this request would be to the liberals no, but this liberal. is something Rahul Excuse that we me. were saying this earlier is... that you know we need we can't shocking. have tolerance towards anyone who who is accused of you know molestation or sexual harassment there must be zero tolerance whether it be somebody who's accused of rape as Sanjay was pointing out the you know the, the BJP That is true but uh, please remember MP, that MLA there from there uh, UP who was accused of rape Shwa or too. anybody else there were many uh, i know uh, chinmay ji might be right in the allegation but there were many Excuse fake me. and false so meet you allegations too there were other saying. false that's me fine i'll continue voting in we shouldn't we shouldn't let we shouldn't let go that out of sight so there should be a balanced approach in solving <laughs> men yes men should you know we should have value education but men cannot be blanketly bland and men cannot always be the villain so it should not be a position where women are villain. angels all right all right i think all the audience here the lot a lot of the audience want to make a point and for all rapes from today we should blame a man not a man but a woman according to mr ishwar this is no, no, right, well, let me just get very easy to play to the gallery like, we should be more sincere like about this topic this is not a political issue essentially what he is saying is that we'll keep on Uh, you know, uh, including these uh, accused in our parties Sengar, because it is not a political Sengar, issue. Yes. Hmm. Secondly, he says yeah. rape is not because of patriarchy. Let a woman say that. Yeah. Why are Can you I... saying it? Right. That's Absolutely, right. I think a good point there. And secondly, one more thing. He he said that uh, uh, we should have martial arts training. औरतों को एक नॉर्मल जिंदगी जीने के लिए कराटे सीखने पड़ेंगे यू नो एंड वी डू टॉक अबाउट पेपर स्प्रे एंड ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ यू नो डिवाइसेस एंड यू नो एप्स इमरजेंसी एप्स बट व्हाई अगेन द ओनर्स ऑन द डिफेंसिव लाइफ अगेन द वर्ल्ड अगेन द ओनर्स ऑन द वुमेन बट यस लेट्स गेट इन अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स हियर यस ही जस्ट वॉक्स आउट ऑफ द स्ट्रीट आई एम सो सॉरी आई जस्ट वांट टू ऐड वन थिंग बिफोर दैट यू नो एवरी मैन शुड रियलाइज व्हाट हिज सोर्स हैज बीन एंड हिज सोर्स इज अ वुमन you come out of Absolutely. a woman's womb yes and please respect that womb if you and can't like, respect it you have no business to be on this planet earth no i know that's a very popular statement yes. no no but but that's what it is sisters, but please respect that problem. much no but rahul the problem is this right that on the one hand we think that our mothers are on one pedestal and yeah, there are the different kinds of women no, no, and that. there are women who every, are not good every, enough every, every, and that there are women every god who are is not, a goddess and that there are no, no women there are other women who are not good enough to be respected Certain yeah. kinds of women. Women who were late at like night. I was talking about Sonia, how actresses who were murdered in Delhi. You know, you know? Yeah. but who are Chimaya we to judge Shrifada, them? Chimaya Shrifada, who is being banned from the Tamil film industry. The Absolutely. Woman, the the teenager who went to a party. The tribal woman who went out of her house. Or you Anu's know? sister who is just walking home and Anu's chased by men. Had to hide in a garbage uh, bin. But yes, go ahead. Let's the young woman has it. Um, so it's it's less of a question, but more of an appeal from behalf of all the girls. I would like to say this is just another drop in the ocean, and also what uh, Telangana Home Minister's bizarre statement, where he clearly made a diversion that he was the one who failed to maintain law and order um, in under his jurisdiction. Moreover, we are so sorry. We are so sorry that we no longer need uneducated, insensitive, and 
uh, and ministers with criminal records in a parliament. It's high time, it's high time Narendra Modi. Modi Sarkar ab beti bachakar, you know, it's Mo Modi Sarkar ab beti, uh, ab beti bachakar dikhao ya satte se nikal jao. It's what all, all of right, us, so we you want the now. government should make it their priority. Yeah. Yes, this young man has something to say. Sabse pahle to, good evening everyone. I would like to say that uh, female education is necessary. Without female education. Female education. So the first purpose of getting education is to be good citizens in our society. Without good citizens, we are not able to get the respect or give the respect. Hmm. Respect, we should give the respect of girls. It is necessary in any society. You mean so gender All right, no, you yeah, mean no, girls should be educated or boys should be educated? One that's more right. here, that's and what then I'll go across there. मैं मैं कहना चाहता हूँ कि हमारी सोसाइटी और गवर्नमेंट दोनों इक्वली रेस्पॉन्सिबल है इस तरह की घटनाओं के लिए। I agree, yes। मैं समाज को अगर ये समाज सही तरह से चल पाता, तो फिर गवर्नमेंट की होने की जरूरत ही क्या थी? Okay, that that's simply my God. Yes, on this particular issue, yes. Let's let's get in Anul's brother here, and you are somebody who actually felt scared after the Hyderabad case, the Telangana case, and you you know wanted her to come home. Actually, and I was always easy. scared for her. Matlab, uh, she often used to come home late because she wants to do some startup and all. So and I all. But she should. I mean, young Why women, not? we need more okay. of them to come up. We keep talking about bringing them into the but workforce, not, and how do we? <laughs> <laughs> No, so this is the thing I always ask her that uh, why are you always late? Just wherever you are, just do send me your locations or uh, just do tell me wherever you are, where when you'll be coming and with whom you are. I always ask with this like in every one, uh, uh, in every one I used to ask these questions. Last to last night, I had a fight with her that uh, why are you always late and why uh, don't you give uh, pick with up whom my you calls? Are, you mean just to know who yeah. she, who's accompanying so her, whether she's safe, of, whether she has company. Yes, uh, this was more uh, of a conversation rather than a fight. But actually, I want to ask to this uh, that the Langana ministers and the police, I, uh, when the girl's family approached the police, they just told her that your daughter will run away. Okay. Yes, that was the I first reaction. I just want to ask that police that even if their daughter will run away, then the police is there to help them. Okay. Or at least the immediate, because they wasted two hours actually, you okay. know, with that time. And I can get Mr. Rahul okay. Singh here. Yeah. Can you address than, what you are saying? Vikram what Singh. What you were saying? Can I just quickly, yes. what's your name? Uh, Ma'am, it's Krishna. You know, the thing is, Krishna, like the where we come from when we are looking to protect our sisters and our daughters and, you know, our mothers even, it's a place of love, right? But I think we need to tweak it a little bit. What is that? We need to let the women lead. You support her. You don't say, who are you with? Say that, what can I do? What can we do together so that you feel safe? Let's make that shift. OK, we don't have the mic. One moment. I want to get uh, Vikram Singh in here. Sir, you heard uh, what the young man had to say regarding uh, you know, the, the way the police treated the family of the young doctor, the veterinary doctor. Uh, when they first went to the police, they said, Kis, does she have some boyfriend, Bhagda Yogi? I mean, this sort of, it's unacceptable that the police behave like this. And they wasted two hours. Finally, the poor father went by himself to actually look for his daughter. Gargi, seldom have I felt so embarrassed in my life as I'm feeling today. I mean, this is a cumulative failure of the police department and there could not have been a more shoddy response than this. And to add insult to injury, the minister came out with his pearls of wisdom. I really feel that these three policemen should be dismissed from service by the provisions 3, Article 311 of the Constitution of India. Apart from the case being registered against them, these three should be a exemplary punishment to everyone in the police force that we have zero tolerance. Lofty ideals and lowly conduct. We talk of All so right. many things that zero tolerance and everything. But when have, was the last time that we dismissed police officers, the guilty ones, from service? All right, when so, was so the again, you're coming back to the point there can be no tolerance for this sort of behavior. I don't this. think I have a single case in mind, but this is necessary. All right, so we'll, let me just get in some more young people. Yes, go ahead. I want to ask, uh, we face these perverts on a daily basis. Why we cannot come up with a so strict rules like other countries for such hideous yeah. crime? All right. Well, that's what uh, you know. Vikram Singh had also said earlier about uh, Romeos or you know people who harass on the streets. Yes. My question, actually, it, I'll Zero ask calling. Ishwar sir to have fact checked. He should read about gender history and woman role in our patriarchy and patriarchy as role, Brahminical conceptualization of gender and patriarchy, and he should check the role of woman. Manusmriti self itself justifies that woman should be treated like an animal. 
okay and hmm. it justifies hmm. this uh, violence against women all right now hmm. quickly respond you should read about it quickly respond i studied in ncert knowledge tradition please. practices of india please try, okay. please try reading manusmriti once it was 5000 years ago in a different context please don't use the manusmriti argument at nauseam that is unfair we respect you know the liberal position but at the same point of time everything in, in india is free need not be demeaned to push a liberal position well, that not is not a liberal answer. position come on surely rahul i mean you know we're talking about uh, things have changed we can't it's not a liberal position it is today's position but all right well i'm i'm going to have to take a break at this point we'll come back and get Just final remarks from all our panelists Welcome back on We the People we're discussing what can we do to change society to change this violence that we see against women we've had the Delhi uh, you know rape case called the Nirbhaya case in 2012 and now we have something shamefully called the Telangana Nirbhaya case in which another young woman was raped and killed uh, we're getting comments from all our audience members uh, go ahead quick comment before uh, we go first to first of all family. as a man as a boy i am really like sh uh, like shameful even i have sisters uh, so uh, but I not just, just because you have sisters i mean it should yeah, be it really, should be something that comes into view i am i am really like worried about them and also uh, we need to understand the effect of patriarchy on on our uh, i think uh, yeah and also we need to uh, uh, i i think we need to end this human right thing on this uh, rape victims because एक तो हार्डली जाके उनको कुछ एक तो हार्डली जाके उनको कुछ एक सजा मिलती है एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम आपके वहाँ पे आ जाते हैं मर्सी पटिशन लेके तो क्या तो क्या जिसका रेप हुआ क्या क्या उसका कोई ह्यूमन राइट नहीं था All right, so that's the uh, uh, emergency uh, petitions need to be fast tracked. I don't fast know why. Fast track. I think that is the yeah. case, and yes, I, I think this whole other argument about you know death penalty, etc. Then death should be life. All right. Yes, go ahead. The statement given by BJP leader in Telangana was so simple: rape is rape, be it be marital rape or it be gay no, rape. No, the Home Minister. Yeah. No, BJP leader. No. No, no, the no, BJP it, leader he he communalized the no BJP yeah. leader he communalized okay. the rape, be it be katwa or. Hyderabad rape case, or be it be a marital okay. rape or a gang rape. Rape is rape. Rape is they don't have any religion. Don't communalize rape, and please make some. It's an appeal to the government that please make some strict laws. All right. Well, the laws are there. I think we come back to that again and again. Quick comment. Yes. मैं संजय से पूरी तरह सहमत हूँ जैसे सर ने कहा कि सरकार की priority ये रेप जो है वो नहीं सत्ता है जब तक सरकार अपने सत्ता की चिंता करेगी तब तक आप वुमेन सेफ्टी की बात नहीं कर सकते आप उसमें सक्सेसफुल नहीं हो सकते तो प्लीज वुमेन सेफ्टी की बात कीजिए और सत्ता को छोड़ दीजिए थोड़ी देर के लिए ऑलराइट वेल क्लोजिंग कमेंट्स दीपाली लेट्स स्टार्ट विद यू आई यू नो आई आई जस्ट फील आई थिंक इट वाज अ ग्रेट डिस्कशन बट आई रियली होप एंड प्रे कि हमारा भय निकले और दूसरी निर्भया ना हो it is high time that some action happens rather than these debates and unreported reported case frequency keeps increasing well this is the way we i uh, I, i guess bring this issue out to the people it's, it's yes sanjay it's very what sad would you it's, like it's to more say? of a political vendetta today you we are having facing so much of social prejudice women honor and dignity big question mark today and we have to run to the courts it takes years and years and years all right well yes. sanjay Well, मैं दो दो बातें बोलूँगा कि एक तो ये कि जैसे जैसे कि मैंने कहा कि गवर्नमेंट की प्रायोरिटीज़ कुछ और है हमने कुछ एक दो साल पहले पोल्यूशन को भी हिंदू पोल्यूशन और मुसलमान पोल्यूशन बना दिया था <laughs> तो अब हम रेप के साथ वो कर रहे हैं और इसका पूरा ये सारा ऊपर से फ्लो कर रहा है जो हमारे जो सो कॉल सरमादार हैं उनके ऊपर से फ्लो कर रहा है और वहीं से ये सारा नरेटिव आ रहा है दूसरी बात ही मैं अगेन एम्फोसाइज कर रहा हूँ कि हमारा जो कल्चर है वो रेप कल्चर है पॉपुलर कल्चर है और यहाँ पर मीडियो कर माइंड्स के पास इतनी ज़्यादा पावर आ गई है और वो अपने हिसाब से चीज़ों को सोल्यूशन देते हैं जैसे आरजेस जो होते हैं ना रेडियो के कुछ एक रेडियो चैनल ने कुछ वक्त पहले एक मुहिम चलाई कि दिल्ली को औरतों के लिए सेफ बनाना है तो उसमें बड़े बड़े जुमले मार रहे हैं कि ये जगह पे अंधेरा है यहाँ पे ये है यहाँ पे ये दिल्ली के धाकड़ फोन कर रहे हैं फला करने का और उसके बाद गाना चलाया जब भी कोई लड़की देखूँ मेरा दिल दीवाना बोले ओले ओले Yes, I mean with these popular songs, and I think all of us, everybody sitting at home, also needs to realize this that you know, it's when we have these songs, it's something we're encouraging. Yes, Karuna. First, we need to tell governments that we will not accept no action. We need to be clear about that. We need to tell governments. We need to tell our courts. We need to tell our the people, the, our local MP, our local MLA, our local government <coughs> that. the backlash from men's rights associations 
from within these people in power is not acceptable. Because look at the situation. We need to say that it's very clear what needs to be done. The plan that I just spoke about for each district, take one district per state government and let Figure us see out what works, works to over make there. sure that the rapes are prevented. Mm. But, and right. lastly, each law needs to be taken from the books. I'm one of the people who worked on 166. Absolutely, yes. You know, it needs to be taken off the books. And, and used on the ground and used on and the street and a plan, implemented. It needs to be funded. All the different ministries that need to do the work need to come together to see what do they need, personal, right. infrastructure, training, and do it. All right, Rahul. Many things, but I'll just, uh, just give one. five, seven points fast yes. in one minute. Uh, first of all, crime and investigation needs to be segregated from law and order. Delhi is uh, suffering simply because there are too many VVIPs out here and a lot of policing actually gets diverted into the day-to-day -day yes, law and order in situation. In fact, that should be a whole other show so, about so, that. So yes. that yes. segregation started about with Nirbhaya and the courts have been pressing the union government. The Home Ministry has been, the MHA has been writing to the finance uh, department of the Ministry of the Government of India that we need 64,000 police personnel. And the home, uh, the home Department actually gave only 4,000. Second, we need to actually impl implementation. See, laws are there now. Okay, Post that's the point Karan also made. So I'm three, completely out of time. Jasmine, FSL, go ahead. FSL, you know, yes. we need to actually uh, ensure that these <laughs> reports come in very fast, okay. the forensics. Yes. Yes. Jasmine, yeah. go as, ahead. The, as the only person representing a political party here, I would say nothing gets as political as the law and order and the safety of women and the law and order of the country. Mm -hmm. Please hold your politicians to the highest bar and do remember the specific promises they have made. Like Rahul just mentioned, 50,000 vacancies of Delhi personnel have been happening for the last 10 years, what is the Home Minister of India doing? Conviction so rates are, are still pathetically we low. We the media also and the, need and the to case, raise these issues rather the rape than getting into are still you know, going high. What are the Home Ministers the of this country really doing? Why is there no anguish when All it comes right, well, to I'm action? I'm completely out of time. I'd like to thank uh, Rahul and Chinmay as well. Uh, sorry, I couldn't come to you for those final comments. But final comment I think I'd like from Anu. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I just want to ask, ma'am, ki... There's no question. I just have to no, make a no. final statement. Like, what's going on with कल मैं कल मैं खड़ी हुई थी वहाँ पे पार्लियामेंट के सामने बैठी हुई थी वो बस एक दिन के लिए चीज थी एक दिन के लिए सब जोश में आए थे कि हाँ इस लड़की को आगे बढ़ना चाहिए but now it just like कि खत्म है सब all right so I mean needs to stop needs to stop and yes we had the Nirbhaya case you know seven years ago it's been seven years and here we are today the rapes are just increasing of course we're also talking about how reporting of rapes is increasing but enough is enough I think that is the message everybody's feeling enough is enough something has to change well thank you all for watching at home goodbye